sides are going up at the same time. And it's up. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So as you can see, the RS3 is up in the air. I plan on changing out the brake pads today. I am sick and tired of having to clean the wheels every week. So the goal is to change it out to eye sweep pads, ceramic coat the wheels, and hope that I don't have to wash the wheels every time I fill up with gas. So let's get started. These are the pads. So one thing about these pads is they don't have the wear sensor. So I'll show you how to reuse this to make it into uh, essentially a sensor delete. It's a pretty easy job to do. I have the caliper off, but as you can see, there is two bolts. They are 21 millimeter. They're back here. Right down in. Here's one hole, and then the other one's down here. Uh, one thing you'll have to do to give yourself room is I put a little crate to hold the brake rotor or the brake caliper on, and then I had to undo the wear sensor, and then I also had to up here I had to undo the clip that holds the brake line on, so that way I can move the brake line over and give me more room to do everything. The eye sweep pads want you to remove this backing plate and install that onto their pads. So I'll do that right now. I've taken the backing pads off from the OEM pads. It's very easy. There, It's held on by that right there and right there. It's a tension type clip. And then I, I always use disc brake quiet, try to keep the brakes as quiet as possible. So now I'm going to reinstall the caliper, reinstall the pads into the caliper. One of the things I did do before I removed the pads is I use this tool to compress the pistons in the caliper. So that way with new pads, they'll fit over the rotor without any issues. Once I get that remounted, I'll show you guys how to turn this sensor into a bypass for it. I'm going to show you how I make delete plugs for wear pad sensors for Audi and Volkswagen. So the first thing I did is cut off the extra wire from a sensor. Let's see if I can make this easier. Cut off and I cut one side of it a little longer than the other side. So that way when I wrap them around and solder them together, it looks really nice and I can get a good piece of heat shrink around it. So the first thing I do to make it really easy is I take the inside of the clip and I push this little purple part over, which is gonna allow me to then depin the plug. Now that I have the plug depinned, I'm gonna solder them together right there. And before I do that, I'm gonna take a piece of my heat shrink and uh, it as far down as I can that way once I put them back together I can use the heat shrink and it'll look like a nice factory connection here you can see where I soldered it together I will then take the heat shrink put it over there
Now I have a nice waterproof connection. Now I'm using a little larger piece of heat shrink to get both the wires together. Just to make it look a little bit nicer. And that is the finished delete plug. So here's a little trick since it's a total pain in the butt to get these pads to fit. Um, this spring clip and where it pushes against the pad right there is very difficult to get it over that and to get it inside the grooves in the caliper. So what I did is I took a screwdriver and used a screwdriver to kind of pry this back to give me room to get everything fit in there. Otherwise it's a total pain in the butt. So I'm gonna clean and ceramic coat the calipers. As you can see, they're pretty dirty. So this will be a before. I'll show them afterwards. Here it is cleaned up and coated. Now I'm going to show you how to remove the rear caliper and do the pads without using VCDS. I tried using VCDS, however, it is locked out for the eight Ys. Uh, it's, it's actually really easy to do it though without VCDS. So to start with, <clears throat> you're gonna remove these spring clips and to do that, I just go up and then I use a second screwdriver to pop it out. So this is how the spring sits in there. There's plastic caps that cover up the bolts. So you're gonna remove those plastic caps. You're gonna take a seven millimeter Allen The top one's a pretty tight fit with a ratchet, however you can make it work. This car has 20,000 miles on it and the brakes are still real easy to work on. The bolts come out nice and easy. There's no rust or anything on them. This is the rear driver side caliper. I already did the rear passenger side caliper. The rear driver side caliper does have a wear sensor. So you're gonna have to do the same thing I did on the front, which is cut the factory one off and make your own sensor. Delete.
that's the bolt. Now that you've got the spring clip off and the two bolts, you're going to, and by the way, you should have your e-brake off from in the car. So they also have these spring clips. And you're just gonna remove these spring clips and use them on your new brake pads. So to get the rear parking brake undone, you're gonna wanna unplug the sensor. You're going to use a five millimeter Allen on the two bolts that hold the parking brake onto the rear caliper. And it has an O-ring that prevents dirt and dust from getting in there. So I loosen it up a little bit and I just take a little flathead to get it the rest of the way off. Try to get you a better view of this. Went to a little wider angle so I can get a better view for you. So the back of the caliper has this and then this looks like a standard front of the caliper. So what I do is Use the compressor. And it spins the opposite way of what you would think it would for the, to tighten everything up. So it's that easy. Then you just put everything back on. Sometimes you have to move the splines a little bit to get it to line up.
and it's that easy to do it without a tool. These are the new rear pads I'll be running. They are the iSweep 1500s. I wanted the least amount of dust that I can get, <clears throat> but still have decent stopping powers. The car is only a street car. It does not get raced on a track. So as you can see, you just transfer that over to the new pads, and I'm gonna do that for both sides. So I have the spring clips on. <clears throat> the one pad does have the metal spring at the top. That goes towards the piston in the caliper. and then it just reinstalls. I always install the top bolt loosely so that way I can get the bottom bolt started. Okay, I'm gonna get those tightened up gonna make another delete plug for the rear sensor and then I'll show you how to install the spring clip time to reinstall the spring clip and try to get you a little closer so you can see how this goes <clears throat> so this part rests against the bottom of the caliper this part rests against the top of the caliper and then these grooves go Behind here, there's grooves inside the caliper. So, it's just about getting the caliper centered where you need to get it centered. And then I use I use a screwdriver to get it where it needs to rest. Make sure it's seated in there, and I'm gonna clean this caliper up, and then this is done. Here's a before of the caliper, before I clean it and ceramic coat it. Here's a before, and I'll do an after. This is one week without washing the wheels with factory brake pads. Front, here's rear. So 
So I cleaned and ceramic coated the barrels as well. <coughs> and this is what the wheels look like done. They're not perfect, but hopefully it makes them significantly easier to keep clean. So this is how dirty they are right now. I'm just going to use uh, <clears throat> soap and water from a traditional car wash. Don't plan on really using a mitt if I don't have to. I'm hoping that everything just washes straight off. So I've had the iSweep 1500s installed for about two weeks now. Um, pretty impressed. Um, not looking for a trackpad. These are not a trackpad in any way. But I'm just looking for something to make it a little bit easier to maintain the black wheels. And I'd say they've done a, a really good job of that. As far as uh, braking characteristics, I've had to do a couple really quick brakes and haven't had any issues with them stopping at all. So I think they're more than adequate for a daily driver. And just washing them off, um, didn't have to scrub anything and the wheels look pretty much brand new again. I'm sure every couple times I'll have to take a, a washcloth or something to them, but super impressed with them. I'm sure the ceramic coating helps a lot. Personally, I wouldn't take all the wheels off and install the brake pads without doing ceramic coating and cleaning the wheels really good. So as far as um, brake dust goes on a scale of one to 10, the stock pads are an eight or nine. And these pads I would say are closer to a two or a three. They do have some dust, but very easy to wash off. Um, and the wheels still look black even two weeks after driving. So to give you an idea, two weeks of driving for me, is probably close to 1200 miles, 1500 miles. If you guys have any questions, hit me up. I'd be glad to answer them. So uh, hopefully this helps you guys. Have a great day.